What makes you change from going to from a cheater to a non cheater? I lost the one I loved. I lost. I lost. I lost that, and then it like it made me. It made me realize that what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's real. It's real. No, it's, real. it's real. It's real. It's real. Where is she though? Should we like put a little shout nah, out that's to all, her? That's all hype. That's all hype. She's probably no. has to be married and all them good stuff. Oh, we should be done that. <laughs> years of age I've been single for about three and a half years now um, the hardest thing about dating in the UK for me personally uh, first challenge being locked down uh, second challenge is just finding someone I can connect with on that level mentally you know not just like physical attractions and what I see at first sight Hi, my name is Sam I'm 31 years of age I have been single now for almost three years and the biggest challenge about being single I would say again lockdown and also finding someone that looks at me as enough that's what a challenge is Aww. yeah my name is Mr. Albert uh, 28 years of age been single for yeah four years and a bit um, biggest Biggest issue of dating in the UK, yeah, definitely the Pokemon panoramic or you know, pandemic, you want to call it. Um, and you know, just finding someone who accepts me for me. And um, why is that funny to me? <laughs> um, you know, just, yeah, it's hard out there, man. Just, yeah, someone who's really for me. Man. <laughs> Name, Alicia. Age 31. And single for okay, single three and a half years. <laughs> um, and the biggest challenge about dating, um, for me, I would say just someone being themselves, I think, is the biggest challenge. Yeah, okay, I go by the name of Zeus, I'm a grown ass man, younger than your dad, but older than your younger brother. Been single for about five years now and I reckon the hardest thing about the dating scene now is there's too much option for everybody so I am joined by some of London's most eligible bachelors and black bachelorettes I say eligible. Yeah. I'm not really talking to you. Wow. So you know we're we're here with some people that are single. Let's just say that some we are winging it with them because we're going to talk about relationships. Mm. I can't believe that you're single. Why not? No, I can. <laughs> <laughs> right. So let's single? let's. I yeah, You know what? Oh, okay, I'm not on. ready for you. So let's <laughs> chop it up about relationships because that's what we do and we want real talk. This is a pledge today, guys. You have to give me your real talk. Oh, real talk. <laughs> real talk. Real talk. <laughs> Make it burn. Mm. Uh huh. <laughs> right. No, no, no. Are they ready for the real Same. talk? Though? They're yeah. ready. I feel like. Who's, who's on online at the moment? Who's on an app? Me. What app what, are you I'm on? on Twitter. Yeah. Twitter. How is Twitter a Follow dating me. app? I'm, whoa, listen. <laughs> You'd be surprised, you know. I find that couples are being formed from Clubhouse. I realize I'm using Clubhouse. all these so I'm using all these social media apps wrong. Right. So you're not sliding. Are you sliding in DMs? Nah, it's sliding, man. <laughs> oh, Dating, like what, that. Yeah. <laughs> what are you? What are you? Uh, I'm on Instagram and Twitter. I said a dating app. Oh, dating app. Oh, do you know? Do you know what's so crazy? I wasn't. <laughs> no, my bad. My bad. <laughs> oh no! Nah, nah. Bro, it's, I knew the man. <laughs> nah, to be fair, do you know what? Because I locked down and everything, I tried. Um, I was on Hinge. Do you know what I mean? For you a little piece. Yeah, I, I, I done hinging. the hinge. No, yeah, yeah, I was hinging. Did you? Did you swipe? Oh, sorry, I was like, I was like, like yeah, God damn. I got my words on it. So wait, did you swipe left or right? No, we're friends. We're we've friends. been friends for so, time. But I know yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 you need a small proximity when you're dating see mm. i've been meeting oh, men online and they're too far yeah. they're in north london mm. like seriously south london yeah, north, so. that's like a whole uber journey. That's a, journey that's a whole like i don't even know congestion oh, charge yeah. Yeah. Eulers, I, don't travel, know. I don't mind the travel because i drive so you travel for the things if it's good enough, yeah. boy, you have oh, wow. to, you know. <laughs> so, so, tell it's me about, awesome. it's good so why did you choose Hinge? Why did you choose Hinge, Dini? Because I felt like Hinge was like something that was current. It made sense at the time. Uh, I had a few bedrooms on there, like single friends that was on there. Like, and what yeah, were they you know, telling you about? They were, like, they were like, you know what? 
go on there. Do you know what it is as well? They were like, there's a lot of black girls on there. Okay. Go on there. Like, do you know what I'm trying to say? It's not like Tinder. Like, give it a try. Do you know trash. what I'm saying? So trash. I was like, do you know what? Boom, get me. But all the people from Tinder have gone to the Hinge. So it's all trash. That's the thing. Like, I was, I was on Hinge as well. And I think the selection, like, the variety of men, because you can be specific of what it is that you want. So you can choose black Chinese in yeah, different. Yeah, you can, you can pick the type of man, race that you want. Height? What about height? Cause that's a Height important. is something that's, that's, that's. Yeah. If you want height, you have to pay for the subscription. Oh, I would pay. <laughs> to pay. That's the thing. Why? Yeah. That's that's you might have seen like, 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 that can't that can't grow past a certain height. That's all mad. That's yeah. Yeah. That's scary. I'll be real. I'm five nine. Yeah. yeah. And if a guy is shorter than six one, it's yeah. not happening. It's not. But why is that? Is that really a deal breaker? Really. For that's a deal breaker. Wow. So are you on any side? What's she not on? She's not on any side. Why were you not on any side? And how are you expecting to find man in lockdown? Um, it's some, some it's power that's yeah. gonna draw a man to your yard. No, but I'm not on any side. <laughs> I can't be on any side. I don't. Do you know what? I'm a funny person. Like, like I said, the hardest thing is people being themselves. Mm. On a site, um, I feel like you can make up and say what you play, and mm. until you actually get get in the person's space and months down the line, then you mm. find out. Oh, he's actually got two left toes and not a left and a right toe. Well, wait, it's wait, different. Wait, wait, wait. Even when you meet a man in Tesco's, mm. he could have two left toes. He could, but meeting him in Tesco is more organic. It's more yeah, organic, like in the organic yeah. vegetable aisle. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I am it's not. No, but you know what? I, I kind of understand what she's saying because the only what the, the issue that I did find with like using Hinge was like it was too much. It was like uh, too much it's options. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And, yeah, it's dress up. People put their best foot forward, mm. and it's like you don't know if it's genuine, if it's no, organic. No, when you, you it, 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 but no, yeah, yeah, but that, that's what I'm trying to say because you everything is prepared. Yourself, in, in regards to the Tesco, I know it's just, it's a joke. But in regards yeah. of meeting someone out, you know, it's, you, you, vibes don't lie. You know what I'm trying to say? You know. If, for example, even if I'm going Tesco's and I see a girl, I see a girl at the flipping, mm-hmm. the, the grocery aisle, you know what I'm trying to yeah. say? The, the, she could the, be in her little quick run out house kind of clothes. You know and you know, if someone approaches me and the other, I, I was going to, yeah, I was going to ask. Listen, yeah. I was like, I've just started my skincare routine. What are you doing? <laughs> so, <laughs> like okay. something that's organic like that. And he found, I found, found you attractive. You gave, you gave, yeah. You gave him a number? No. So Why? it's not working. Oh, because you missed your blessing. No. So it's no. missed your blessing, girl. No. It's not working. I didn't give him a number because, because she was in the middle of her skincare routine. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, that's why you should have gave him your number. No. He you know, you saw you. Yeah. The no, no, question like, is, did you find him attractive? Do you know what? I feel energy. It was bare words there. I because I know, like, yes this no. is something I have a conversation with my friends mm. all the time. Physical attraction. And a lot of women it's, say, yeah. oh no, it's not about physical attraction. It's important. It right, is. Because it is, it is. you see, from the moment I look at you, I need to find you attractive. attractive. Mm-hmm. The only thing I can't do is force myself to I like to like, I think not physical attractive. attraction yeah. for me is like, number one, you know. It is. It's the first so thing. I have to get moist for you. Like, it has to happen. There is no grow. I don't like growers. I don't get along with people that grow on me. And it doesn't last long. Talk about hygiene, yeah? Say you're in a relationship, right? Mm. And you've noticed that your woman mm. or man has some hygiene issues. How are you approaching this? Do you speak to them? Do you know what? Someone asked me this question the other day. A friend what, of mine, a friend, you know, if someone had a, a problem down there, how would I'm I? Not, I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about breath. You gone. That gone was part of hygiene. That's hygiene. That's, <laughs> hygiene. that's a part of hygiene yeah. because a lot of people think that it's only a woman that carry internal hygiene daily smell it's yeah. the mix of yeah, two it's men oh, yeah. it's a mix of well. two and no one you get you scrub it up a day like man them it's, it's, a, it's a natural no, smell no, no, what do you do what's scrub it up a day that's back in the day you used to say it fast you scrub it up a day so it's if they're like no 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 you don't wash you don't wash you don't wash so do you know what you also need to take into account that when you overwash that's when the issue happens because it messes with your pH level okay wait you see this this you know the situation hygiene. we're talking about the hygiene situation why are you uncomfortable talking about it no no I'm very comfortable but I just want to know like have you already wiped them by by the time yeah yes. you wiped them you're you're so I knew so you should be so able to see you might not no, had that before no, oh, she didn't have it before say yeah, you, ask her yeah say like you just my side's not, not right how can you be hiding then, that you can't hide you can't it, hide it. Hide but it. then but then I'm a, I'm a firm believer yeah. mm. you see when it comes to personal hygiene you should be on top of that but you can't sometimes smell your own breath you can no you can't no one can't tell me you can't smell it's only I've got the mask on I can smell my breath in it <laughs> <laughs> it's not even, do you know what it's not even just about smell it's taste your yeah. mouth tastes different when it smells but yeah. if you've always had that taste that's familiar to you that's what this no, but <laughs> I, know, I, hate, I hate what you're saying. There is a to remember is what you eat is what comes out of you. Yeah, exactly. So you could be brushing twice a day, and if you're eating 
No, but crap, a lot of things constantly, you're gonna keep getting that. So that's why my man's talking no, 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 pineapples because no, no. I've heard pineapples <laughs> all my life. Is that true though? Yeah, is that even true? Yes, is it is. Is that true? Is it? Let no me not comment, talk no too comment. Because I got brothers, but yeah. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> you eat pineapples for that reason. It, why is no, your what do I eat pineapples for that reason? <laughs> I like pineapples, you get it. But I like watermelon. Watermelon is my favorite okay, food. Let's go for the man still. If we're on that topic, how important is intimate oral pleasures shared between couples? Very. Yeah, Do you know what? No. I used to really? always... What? What? Experiment. I used to say... Like, like eat yeah. it out. Like, babe. Come on. I used to say... <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. In a previous relationship, I always gay. So... And they weren't, oh, I don't do it talk. Okay. That's all I knew. I was only in two previous relationships. So when I came out of the relationship, spoke to a few guys and found out what the deal was. And I like, started talking to a few guys, experimenting. And I realized this is important. If you can feel like that and quench your toes, why can't I? Mm. Mm. So how do you feel as a man for a woman why can't I? That, that demands it? Do you know what? That's that. That's the, the demanding thing is the thing for me. Because you see, like, as a man, like, we... we, we I'm a sexually liberated man anyway. Like, to be Ooh, fair. So, like you see my thing. Yeah. You, you ain't got to tell me. Some to Jamaicans call that vocab. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, but you see, you see my thing. Like, pleasure in my woman. Like, you see, like, no, no, no. man's not going to go out eating out any, like, Mary, uh-huh. Angelina, and, and, you know what I'm saying, Joanna. Because my thing is, it's like, <laughs> like, that's intimate. Like you say, it's an intimate, it's exactly. an intimate thing. And, like, that's something, like, I would want to share with my woman kind of yeah, thing. Do you know right. what I'm saying? And when a girl usually comes, like, demanding those kind of things, I'm like, all right, cool. Maybe that's something. You haven't. That's something you're new to, innit? Or that's something that you you, you like, but you're demanding it, that mm-hmm. kind of thing. You know what I'm trying to say? So, so what if you approach that situation? I'm going back to hygiene. That is off. How? What happens in that moment? You so you don't do it. You don't do it. You, don't say. you don't do it. You speak to you your partner. To and this is what I'm saying. If you're going to be in a relationship, you need to be able to communicate. Mm-hmm. This is what people don't do mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because there's so much expectation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's too many demands. Mm-hmm. And my thing is, is this: if you're in a relationship, I'm not going to ask you for nothing. I also don't expect you to do anything. You should want to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand me? So if there's an issue, we need to be able to sit down and speak on it as adults. Right. And a lot of the time, that doesn't happen. Let me hear the conversation. Babes. Babe, you have an odour. Yeah, nah, can you go and wash it? Much, I've done it before. What? Can you go and wash it? You should and be able to. You should be able to. If you're coming to me and you want that in my mouth, listen. and if I, if I can... Is it that okay, easy? Can you I, don't, I don't think it's that easy. The thing is, why is it not easy? Because put the shit whenever for if a guy was to say that to you, I'm yeah. my man to tell, tell me. me. Yeah, no, of course, but it's like the way <laughs> no, or how we how you say it. He'll be like, babe, you've got a strong smell. And you're calm with that, yeah? I'll yeah. be like, is it? Let me fix it. No. Do you That's know what? Yeah, yeah. if I know I want something. Put in the comments below, they're capping. No. <laughs> no. Do you know what? The I thing know. is, if you know you want something, <laughs> you have to make sure no. you, you still I'm, fresh up anyway. The other day, a guy I'm should never now happen. dating um, was in the kitchen and I was like, I'm tired, but do you know what? I was feeling frisky. I said, but I'm going to quickly go in the bathroom. So I went in the bathroom. Mm. So I don't have to be told. I'm not saying that I did, but if I know... It, not that I demanded or anything like that, but if I know I'd like it to happen, of course I'm a fresh sure right, so Let me hear the male perspective. Sure you're, yeah. you're in a situation. I want to hear from you. Mm. What does it sound like when you're in that scenario? Boy, yo, babes. Listen, <laughs> we're not turning up. Okay, I'll be I'll be so honest, I'm the type of guy I'll turn it into a joke, innit? I'll make it a joke because my thing, something like that is is it could be you don't know how your partner's gonna take it or receive it. Do you know what I'm trying to say? If you come out blunt and be like, Yo, babe, stand there's smelling or like you're not trying to if you if you're straight like that, some people might be like, Rah, you could have broke it down to me in a, in a softer way or whatnot. So my kind of thing is I'll drop it as a joke. I'll be like, Rah. You get me? Like I'll drop it in a I don't I can't figure the words right now, but I'll make how it a joke. I'm dropping it literally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, I'm done with no, I'm joking. 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 i am joking 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 i am are with cheaters so that, yeah, can't, be, yeah, that can't, can't be a deal breaker for everyone mm-hmm. no, so thanks. what is in the, let's go for one by one mm-hmm. what are your and I want to hear one word what's the deal breaker um yeah cheating see can you come back to me yep lying lying back to you lying 
Lying. Mm. So, <laughs> all right, I'll tell you why, yeah. You see yeah. cheaters, <laughs> and this is one thing I say. I've got six brothers. Right. They're all great men. But I also know a lot of men. And so I speak to boys, and I'm like, why do guys cheat? And the answer that's common that comes back is, guys cheat because they don't expect to get found out. And oh. when they do, they do. Right? This is, this is just, a, 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 this is go. just something that I've been told, yeah? Right. But then I also believe that men are from Mars and women are from Venus, and we're never going to understand each other, mm. ever. So guys will do what they need to do. And for, and cheating is something that if it, if you love a person, you will be able to get past that. But you ha- also have to learn to accept certain, not accept, it's not, it's, cause if I say this, people are going to be like, nah, cause you're going to compromise and accept it's it. Understanding. It's not, I'm not condoning any of it. I'm just saying it is wrong. But if someone loves you enough and they cheat on you, cause guys can cheat on, on a woman and with someone and they will mean absolutely nothing to them. So what's love then? Love is something that's inexplainable. So wait, 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 Mr. Let me ask you something. So if you love someone enough, you should be able to move to not cheat. To work with that person. Yeah. But then don't, but my thing is, is don't put yourself in a compromising position to Uh cheat. Right. But it happens because it's natural. You came in this room. Yeah. And you said, Black men don't cheat. Yeah. Now you see that boop, boop, statement. Facts. Sugar, no, it's absolute, <laughs> absolute biggest fact. Don't cheat. Biggest cat. Don't cheat. Where has that come from? Talk to me about it. Um, <clears throat> so it's come from a long line Social of history. Media. Reality. So long line of people talking. Long, long, long line of history. <laughs> um, it was dated from um. 2020. <laughs> like, Go on. Uh, all the way to the future where Hardy Caprio says in one of his bars, oh um, black men don't cheat. And it's just gone through the centuries and the years. And um, I think it's a very important... Do you, as a lyric, believe <clears throat> that statement? Um, I think stupid men cheat. Well, I don't think black men cheat. So can't black men be stupid? I've been cheating on by a black man. No, nah, he was. No, nah, he, <laughs> he, like, he was a stupid man. He was a stupid man. He was a stupid man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, Come on, man. But why is he not a stupid <clears throat> black man? Huh? He's not using his brain. He's not using his brain. So then he loses some of his. But is he just not losing blackness. his brain because he didn't get caught? Do you know what I think? No, okay, be, no, do you know I'm okay. I've been touching the point. Can I just back yeah, up? Yeah. You, said, you said something about love. You know mm. what I'm trying to say. And sometimes I think to myself, even though like you say, men sometimes find themselves in compromising situations. For example, my thing is just don't find your before. Yeah, like, before you cheating get happens. You. Yeah, it gets so preempted. You know, it's preempted. Like, it's so my thing is, okay, cool. For example, I'll give you an example. <laughs> my phone rings. Yo, I'm, I'm in a relationship. My phone rings. Yo, what are you saying? Man, it's the man. Then. We're going out. Da, 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 da. Oh, where you going? We're going, uh, we're going to go raving, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to miss out today. Do you know what I'm saying? No, I'm not, because I'm not going to put myself in that situation. I'm not going to go out. What? You or, raving equals oh, no, no, not even raving. Not even raving. I was even, was even, gonna, I was even gonna say, yeah, you go to the rave. Mm. Obviously, the man I'm talking here, yeah, we've got this AP. Now, you know, cool. What's an AP? An okay. apartment, sorry. Okay, oh. you go to the apartment. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I'm saying, like, the man them's got an apartment. You now know in the situation, right? If I go to that apartment, I could be put in a pr- mm. in a sticky situation. I'm gonna be a man that are single. That's why you'd be like, "Ah, come on, I'll come to the rave with you, lot." But I'm not gonna come to the apartment because I know this is, and you know, that's where like love is just not the emotion; it's other things around it. So, have you been cheated on? Yes. Okay, yeah. do you know what? The black men don't cheating. Yeah, I have to say it for legal purposes. But you see, cut this bit out. Some black, some some black men cheat, some white men cheat, some like, like everyone. Maybe, yeah, a lot of people cheat. Women cheat as well. So let's not even just like. Mm. Keep it as that in it, but I think the whole, the whole, like when I said it, obviously it's the thing where it's like, you know, I'm trying to support, but I think the the, the to thought process a race that doesn't deserve it. The thought process. Imagine your black queens that you guys are disappointing. No, that's no, that's time. and that's a fact. And I think and these are your mums. These are mums and aunties. Sisters. Sisters. No, facts. Yeah. Do you know what that does to us? I'm not even a liar. We as a black woman, we have mm. a lot of. um Trauma. trauma anyway mm. Mm. and all you lot do when you cheat on us is add to that trauma mm-hmm. do you know what do you know what do you know what do you know what's mad about that down yeah? more than we are already broken no and i agree with you i'm not even disputing that and i think that happens a lot and i think it's a massive shame but i also you know think what? i also think what happens as well though yeah is that there's a lot of women that uh, contribute contribute to it to a degree because they're where, side chicks not even because they're side chicks like but one obviously willing to accept. one there's yeah. I mean, they're willing to accept yeah mm-hmm. oh he cheated on me but he loves me did it like yeah. You know, do you get it? So it's like, yeah. you've accepted I'm that. One of them. Yeah, you've been I'm in that situation where you accept yeah. it. You've been once, I've chosen to be a side chick. And they know, like, side chicks know that she's got a, like, And we know, know, we know. We're but you knew, no, that's a bit more. Okay, okay, so like, one thing I've said to myself moving forward is, I've been there. It's not a nice feeling because you're, you're playing Did a you game you're always going to lose. Pardon? Did you ever want the main role? Knowing that you're the side? Of course. Every 
said chick goes into something wanting to be. Do you think so? Do you think so? So you wasn't. Know, so you said you said you wanted to be a side. So you wasn't. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Have you ever cheated? Have you ever cheated? Have I, my younger days, I did. I'll be real. When you say younger, oh, you I've never cheated by the way. Twenty nine. No, 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 no. I'm thirty yeah. now. So when I say younger days, I'll be. I'll be. I'll give you a time frame. I'll say from eighteen to twenty one. Okay. Do you know I'm twenty five? Rate me, see. Twenty three. I woke up. You know what I mean? I had to just like you get me. Yeah. But that's the thing. It's like having uncomfortable. No, I need to understand it. What makes you change from going to from a cheater to a non cheater? I lost the one I loved. I lost. I lost. I lost something in it. Like it made me. It made me realize that what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's real. It's real, man. It's real. It's real. It's real. real. Where is she though? Should we like put a little shout out to her? Nah, that's all hype. That's all hype. She's probably happily married and all them good stuff. We should be concerned. That's what I'm doing. But they don't want it. But see, can I say? It's what we witnessed. We witnessed. A known side chick. No. We've now witnessed someone who's ready to break <laughs> marriages. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, when I was younger, I was a side chick. I was happy being a side chick. Wow. Knowing that he had a girl. Is it about self worth? Did you not love yourself? I didn't love myself. Mm. And whereas now, I'm like, you do what you got to do. But me, I ain't doing it. No, no, I'm not putting myself in that in that situation. Because mm-hmm. you see, when wifey finds out and she wants to come pump, lick down my face, yeah, yeah, yeah. she has a right to. I can't fight back. Yeah, because he's you never can fight back. But the one yeah. thing females need to understand is she should be never, him. By the way, but yeah, yeah. Yes, but we never do. Do you understand me? That's we never do. Regardless of the situation, we never do. Because at the end of the day, it's easier for us to lay blame on the woman than to lay blame on always. the man. And I think a man also... Because um, a lot of... We always uh, say cheating with just like sexual intercourse and deception and things like this. But emotional as well. Emotional. And I think in all, all angles, it's much easier to always blame a woman. Like, for example, if you're in a situation where a baby father wants to easily say, oh, my baby mum's, it's a woman. It's always a woman, a woman, a woman. It's never accountability of oneself. So, for example, I have a I child. I women do that. To I have a child, yeah. And I have never slept with my child's dad after we've split up. Yeah. But I know how easy it can be. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Do you think a woman's got a right or a man's got a right to still tap their... Baby mother, because that's their baby mother, isn't it? No, and this is what I come mean. Come on, I think come it's on. between them two. I don't think you can say a yeah. right or not because if you have a child with somebody, mm. it, depending on how you had that child, can I realize <laughs> that it's toxic? It's toxic. Someone, someone you're not, someone, toxic. someone you're not, it's it's someone you're not with, by the way. Not like that's get, why like, it depends how you have that child. It blurs the lines, man. It, 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 it does. Child. It but confuses the child. Yes, very much. But you see, when you are going through a process. You can't just tear something away. Sometimes it takes a process. What years though? Because some not, 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 not years, baby not years. Not years. That's yeah, comfortability. <laughs> that's comfortability. Yeah, that's that being is. able to say, <laughs> "Oh, I can still I can do, do it." This yeah. is yeah. ownership. This is really. territory. But then, Better the devil you know. So, sorry, and, and this is, and just going off what this is why cheating is kind of it's like an ego driven thing, isn't it? It's mm-hmm. like you do it selfishly exactly. to pleasure yourself, and then yeah. it's like raw. Was it really worth? Do you know what I'm trying to say? It's, yeah, it's yeah. one of them ones. So it's like that's a fact. It's, it's 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 when you look. My thing is just put thought into more things. Do you know what I'm trying to? That's yeah, what, what yeah. I learned from my because, like I said, I'm I'm not gonna lie. Like I cheated when I was younger and whatnot. And what my thing is is that okay, cool. Why did I cheat? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Okay, cool. Was it worth it? Da, da, da. And then ooh, was it worth it? It wasn't. It wasn't. I'll be honest with you really. because of the fact of that moment. Yeah, boom, pleasure, whatever. But then the whole thing is it's like cool. You've lost someone that not only not only that you love, but they love you. Do you know what I'm trying to say? You've broken a mm-hmm. trust. Mm-hmm. Like you, like there's so much stuff that's happened. You've called, you might have caused a trauma to them, and it, it, it's a, it's a, it's an effect. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I'm trying to say? That, so, that's what happened. and then imagine that, and that's because of you wanting to go out and be selfish. Do you know mm-hmm. what I'm trying to say? So, yeah. it's a, it's, it's what if you're not happy? Like I've been in relationships. Told the person. The rock told the person. Relationship. No, it's not so easy. Yeah. Yeah. Babes, listen, it's, it's, so be, easy. it's better than it's better that. It's not than easy to tell someone I don't like you. I'd rather that hurt. I'd rather someone tell me. They don't like me than they to go out and cheat on me. But it's not that they don't like you. It's just that you're going through a blip because relationships have ups and downs. You're not always, for me, there's a difference between being in love and loving that person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can love that person, but you're not in love with them right now. Yes. Maybe because they've lost their job and they, a bit yeah. Yeah. Money, yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. They're not necessarily wasting the time. You're waiting for the peak. Because there's mm, peaks no. and there's trouble. Yeah, and this is the thing. Yeah, this is what you get to peak, you're just going to end up hurting each other. The thing, and peak, this is what I'm saying. Peak, yeah. <laughs> 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 it is peak. 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 I think, I think um, she said something important earlier, and I think communication plays a big part in that, mm-hmm. innit? Because I feel, if you feel like you're at one of those down moments and you don't communicate that, and you think, oh, no, we're just going through something, and then, you know, all this stuff. So, wait, you're saying to me that every time you go through something, you should done it. No, no, I'm not saying run it. I'm not saying no, I'm saying communicate it. 
But you, what you said textually is that if you're done, like, are you, like, you're not going to just cheat. Just because I've fallen out of thing. love with you doesn't mean I'm done. But you should but be able to You should be able to talk about, about that. You shouldn't just listen, end it. Love, 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 is a, love is a decision anyway. Love is a decision. But then you're hurting that person by going out and cheating. Yeah. Who said I'm cheating? No, but I'm saying going out there and doing whatever you're doing. I'm still there. I'm still there. It's like having your cake and eating it. No, but more when you think about it, you look at the situation. Someone will eventually step out in those situations. Someone will step out. They don't both stay there and just... Co- literally just appear and, and live together. It doesn't work. Okay, like let me add another. Um, you know, love, someone if always you, uh, ends up if out. you claim you've fallen out of love and you've decided that you do not want to love that person anymore, no because obviously I feel like love is mainly and a higher majority of a decision you take, because naturally you're not going to like, sometimes you might not like your partner, but mm. because you decided to love them, mm. you're going to. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's you're gonna do things. Do you get me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think that's growing up. I don't know about that. I think, I, I, I think, I think there's gonna be no, days no. where you're together three years deep and you're just gonna, like, you might not be feeling it, but mm. you've decided to love that person. Do you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. I think that's what it is. So, once so, you. But when you've got kids, it's a whole nother thing, too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah because I, I think you. I don't have kids. You fine. put up with different a lot. things because you don't want that home to be broken. Mm. I don't know how many of you have grown up in single parent homes or whatever, but it's not easy. Mm. And I think for, like, me and my choices, I made a choice for my daughter. That I wanted to be married the right way, wanted her to have a present father, wanted her to see what, you know, black love looked like. But then it just became like black unlove. Wow. <laughs> it, was, it was mad. It, and, I, and I remember seeing her and thinking, I don't want her to see this. Like two people, you know, like when you're just like ships in the night mm. and you're just coming through the door, you're not yeah. saying hello, you're not respecting yeah, each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just all gets a bit sad. Nice. It's yeah. sad. Mm. And we don't want that for us. So I, I understand when, and I can't talk for the whole world of Bay Mothers, but I can understand sometimes why you want the relationship to work with your child's dad. Because you want the picture. But, yeah, because you mm. want that picture. But don't I you think that, that the down the line, it, it, that picture's going to break anyway. Someone's going to step out. Someone's going to be unhappy. And that affects the child. Yeah. Yeah. Down the line. It's better to Children have to be co-parenting. Yeah. Co-parent and, yeah. and, and exactly have to build on. different homes for that child that are loving. So let me ask you this. As I'm single like, people, yeah. how do you deal with dating people with children? Oh. Or do you not date people with children? That's, That's a, a good, good question. Points before I answer this. Yeah, I, was, like, I wanted to hear points before. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, go, Alves. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest in it. I think in my life, I've never really said to myself, I want to play the role of a stepfather person. But no one's asking you to. No, but I think naturally as a man, I'm going to. I would have to. If I'm with if someone, like that, but yeah, me, if I like you, I'm Take going to like the next, I like you, you love your child. Do you get me? I'm loving that child too. It's going to be the, this, it has to be the ball game kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Don't do, let's not do the cute thing. But, um, so I've never really, like, it's never been my forte. So if you do tell me you have a child, I'm more likely going to be like, I'm not sure. Really? If, I'll be honest with like, Wait, 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 wait. If this, but I would not, if like, this full meal came to you. Yeah. And you know. No, obviously, to get it, like. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like. No, I don't get it. What are you saying? I think, it, I think it varies. I haven't met a lot of people that, naturally, I haven't met a lot of people that are mothers anyway. Why? Where are you? No, as in that like, one of that. That we're like we're dating on that. Yeah, Dini, what yeah. about you? Have no, you been there? I think they're out here, but I've just never met someone that's like more time when I meet a girl, when like, if I talk to a girl on the, mm. like in the motive or in the DMs or whatever, they just they're never re- usually mothers. Okay, yeah, do well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, in that yeah. sense, in it. Um, so that's why I can I can't be like oh like all the time. But I guess but if you're a cool cool babe, you're a cool girl, everything that like, definitely talk. But then. Have you dated a man, a girl with children? Yeah, 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 I have. It's like it's just a respon- big responsibility, isn't it? It's like they come. My thing is, yeah, dating someone with kids, yeah, you've got to just be. Like, for me, it was, I, I wouldn't date someone with kids again, and only because Please. of this. No, only, no, only because. Nah, you know, like, hard. No, do you know? Do you know what it is? Do you know I'm what it is? Never gonna find a man. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? I haven't, I haven't got kids. Do you know? I think it's like a, it's a personal reason for myself. It's, it's. Probably something I need to grow out of. I don't know, but I haven't got kids myself in it. So for me, you it's like, like first. yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I didn't understand when I was dating someone with kids. I was young. I was like 23. Yeah, at the time. So I didn't understand the fact that, okay, cool. You've got a child. Like, it was. It's crazy, isn't it? Because oh, I can't even find the words right now. But it's like, yes, yeah, yeah. bro. Like, you don't want to hurt feelings. Just say the thing. Do the thing. It, okay. It's long, isn't it? It's long because look at this way. Look at no, no. Look at this way. I haven't got kids myself, so I don't know. I I can't. There's certain things like I'll be compromising. Certain, yeah. like, for example, the baby dad coming around or whatever. I'm just certain little stuff, man. Certain situations, yeah, yeah. a man chatting. Like, look at this way, yeah. Like the baby dad chatting shit 
to the girl, to man the girl about, bro, right, yeah. I'm seeing her, and I think so I'm gonna back her. Like, do you get it kind of thing? But then yeah. it's like, yo, like he's, he's mad. I'm, he's your, but, yeah. but I can't get into madness with your baby dad because why? Her, no, I'm not, no, 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 no. But, but then, not, but then, that's so, that's how many times am I gonna be getting into? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Kind of thing. It's like my thing is, and then also to add on to your point. Actually, no, I can't finish your point. I'll add on after. Is that and then on top of that as well? Cool. Like it's just long, man. It's long, man. It was just for me. It was something that. I'm not ready to take on. I wasn't ready to take on at that time. I was and like, yo, it's a big responsibility. Yeah, and I think to add on to, to Dini's point, yeah, I think there's a, there's definitely something that happens mentally where it's like, bare things. I think there's, like you said, you've got the baby, baby father issue. Um, not really issue, but a situation mm. where if he's definitely present, you know, that could be, oh, I don't really like my man, you know, for mm. no reason. And then mm. now it's a situation. No, I hate Then that. also you've got the child who might, just not warm to you because naturally, bro, you're not my dad. Mm. And then it's another like kind of disrespecting. And even though like your your partner's trying, it's like yeah, but shut up, man. And it's now it's a whole another disrespecting. I hear that. Then yeah. I think also as well, it's a thing of um. Oh, that was the last one I had, but I just slipped my mind, you know. Mm. It's fine, but, but it's, yeah, it's, and, and, and I think that I think age age it. comes as well in it. Like I think Mm-mm. like one of my, I think one of my one of, uh, one of my guys he actually married um someone who had who had a, but the baby father wasn't in the picture at all, mm. and he married her and his son I think was about five and up what till today I respect and rate him because that child t- calls him dad like he's taking him on everything. Mm. But I mean I guess this um. Her son didn't know his dad, so that yeah, was a so closest easier. father. So it was easier. That's easier. Um, but I, I think age matters because I think stepping into a ten year old child's life. Are you know, big big thirty. Yeah. You now, yeah, 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 yeah. But stepping yeah. into like a ten year old child's life, a fifteen year old child's life. <laughs> I, 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 all right. right. So I've got one. I've got one more man's perspective to take on board. Yeah. So it's only right that I ask my late comer to oh, come man. in on this because I'm hoping you're going to give me a different perspective about dating women with children. Have you done it? And, and what's it about? How does it feel for you? Um, yeah, I've done it. Um, it's cool, but there's a ceiling for me. What's the ceiling now? Personally, like... Um, At the age of the child? Yeah, that's the ceiling. Um, the fact that there is a child, if I'm honest, like, I'm not going to sit here and lie. How old are you? I'm in my 30s. So the, okay, so a lot of women that's in their 30s have children now. Like... Yeah, you well, getting like, uh, ex- all right, so here's something I realized, and something I've been talking about lately as well. Uh, one thing I've realized getting older as well. See the thing about men. I think what happens when you get to a certain age is you realize like we're not the same as women. Like there's right. a bit more time on our clock. We ain't got time. All right, so our eggs I know it's deep. I know like- it's deep. But the realness is... Speak on it, bro. Mm-hmm. Speak but on then, it. But then you want to have a woman with... I think you lot are being mad picky, you know? And no, also, no, it's because okay. we have options. Right. It's because you don't have option that you 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 don't get the choice. Maybe we are, but we have the choice. And it's okay. like, okay. Is it, ain't it a bit bad just to sacrifice that choice just because we have it? I mean, it's a bit deep that we get okay. by default, but it's there. And so you get to a point where you realise, oh, shit, I have that choice. Let me tell you, you something. Me? As a baby, so as a, a child's difference. mum... I am telling you, I bring a uniqueness to the relationship. I am responsible. I know about self-care and care of others, balancing both. My time management is on point. I know about responsibilities. You are taking a risk on a girl that may not be able to do any of those things. To me, there are so many gifts that being a mother brings. Like that We learn how to be compassionate. We learn how to be caring. You, I think, unless you've really experienced dating a woman that's a mum, you ain't started dating yet. You know it is, yeah. I think that's so beautiful and I definitely agree. But I think before that, you you was you once didn't have a child, so you was everything that someone else is gonna become anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> see you. Like, it's like, also, you like that? It's no, like it's, you know what I'm saying? It's like, like realistically, like, if we're being honest, like it it doesn't always go that way, but ideally you want everything to be your first and I mm. think that pl- that in the back of your head, whether Maybe, you admit yeah. that or not, mm. like you would ideally want to be the first. But yeah, you would cheat on your gal with a gal that's got kids, though. I know you would. Yeah, but that's play- I wouldn't. Play I, time. I, 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 you agree? I'm not saying that too. Bro, bro. bro. Not compared to no. you, play time. Play not playtime. And you know kids bro. like to play as well. Bro. 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 She needs to take a few steps back. You need to try to That's just the rule. I'm not saying I do that, but that's what you can't compare to. All right, let me get a woman's perspective. See, have you? What about, what about, see, what about men with children? Okay, so I, my first ever boyfriend had a child at 17. Right. So I was basically a stepmom at 18. 
Um, for me, growing up in a single parent household with my mum, I kind of already had that type of um, mentality still into me of accepting people. And it was hard because at the time he was still with the baby mum, kind of. It, it, it exploded and we met like through work or whatever, got close as friends and then became together. And then I think six months or, or however many months into the relationship, I found out he had a baby. By her, by the way. Um, but, and that, it was all messy. However, I don't regret it because it was one of the best moments in my life because it allowed me, it opened me up a little bit more. So tell me about dating men with children versus men that don't have children. Are they different? They are. Because they were a little bit more grown. They have a possibility. I love a man with a child, you know. And I don't mind it. I've got friends that will never do it. And I get your point on wanting to be first and having that experience with, with a person like the first time round. But realistically, in life right now, it's really rare. It's rare. Yeah. And I think a lot of people have that and and it's like a expectation almost. And they're missing standard. out on and you're missing women, out yeah. on experiencing yeah. and you'd be surprised because it opens your it opens up your heart so much because you don't expect to like, bond with a child that's, that's not, not yours. yours. Mm, no, it's I different. Okay. So it's like it's like sorry, t- sorry. Um so when if whenever when I found myself in that situation I didn't expect it and it was scary because I didn't have to take on a lot, but the, the thing that scared me the most was his relationship with his baby mom. Yeah, that's all complex. That is what I asked. So if I meet a man that's got kids, the first thing I'm going to ask you is, what's your relationship like with your baby mom? Mm. And how often are you involved in your child's life? Mm. Because if you've got a child, I'm expecting that child to be number one. Yeah, mm. I'll take a back seat because I need to know how you are as a man. That shows me you. Mm. And if you're not actively involved in your child, or if you, if you don't have your child at least twice a month for the weekend, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I don't want to hear that you're giving your child to your, your, your brothers or, or your, your mum, or, you know what I'm saying? Have your you. Yeah. And if you don't want me to be around you, that's fine, I'll take a step back until you're ready. But you're a dad, you need to take on responsibility, and that's what a lot of guys don't like there's a, a lot of guys that don't want that responsibility because they're not ready for it but no, at the same time I'm 100%. like don't lie down with a girl and get her pregnant exactly strap it up so what's your experience um recently um I was with someone that's what I said do you call this what would you call the lifetime but um I got to know someone with a child she was 15 at the time um and he's 39 no 38 going to be 39 and I've always been open um, I wasn't open in the past because I just felt I wasn't naturally maternal. I love kids, but I wasn't naturally maternal until like 27. So I was always open to the aspects of a, a man with a child. But like you said, being a dad is for me the first priority and I'm happy to be after that as your woman, but I need to see what you are as a father first. Um, so when I got into a situation with him, um, before it, you know, I could, I knew he was a good dad because of I've known of him before. But one thing that taught me, man, woman, woman, man, is boundaries. Mm-hmm. Boundaries with the That's the nice. parents, the co-parenting, the, the child or children, um, the family and the friends. So when you're in a relationship with a man that doesn't have kids, you slot in easier. Mm-hmm. When you have a man that, that, that has kids, it's not that you don't slot in harder, but there's boundaries. The child may not be ready for the parent to be with Mm -hmm. somebody else. There may be jealousy issues. There may be um, bad patterns. I experienced bad patterns. Um, Not wanting to grow out of patterns, being accustomed to something for for many years. So as much as I compromised, okay, let's only see each other once a month, just so you could spend the majority of your time. time. Okay, (laughs) you know, you know, all of those things I compromised for the first time. Mm -hmm. And it got to the very end, and it got to like 11 months, the night for my birthday, I said, I'm finished. Because so, I'm going to be 31, and I can't... How you seen a man... I'm not being funny. How you seen a man once a month? Because me, when I've got a man, I want things. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. this once a month mm-hmm. thing is not working for yeah, me. But, I'm a girl that... I'm a free time a weeker. Yeah, like, don't ask, too. Yeah, don't ask <laughs> me for more than that. Don't ask yeah. me Minimum. for more than free time, because I've got work. <laughs> like, yeah. but, but you have to... You have to understand that... Get your coins, boo-boo. When you're, if, you're, if you're getting to know someone that has a child in their life... You have to understand their daily routines. You have to understand a it's lot of background. Thing. Not enough. And I, at the end of it, felt like you're you're not you're not ready because mm. the man or the woman themselves could also be in a situation where they want this person. They want you know. Eleven months down the line, you're telling me um, if you to ask anyone that knew you before before you be with together, my life's always been like this. 
So you allowed me to fall in love with you knowing that you've got all these issues but going on. Go for it, see? Isn't that ceilings? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, that's yeah, that's nice. exactly like it you is. just it listed is. it nicely, but that's what I'm saying. That's the like when I said ceilings, it don't mean you can't go past them, but it automatically comes with ceilings that you now gotta look at and it's like, oh, there's that, 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 that mm-hmm. that I'm now stepping into and there's so much things that you have to now think about. It's not that you can't go past them, but mm-hmm. It comes with so much rules and regulations. It's not the easiest thing just to walk into. No, it's not. No. Can I also touch on your point? You speaking on um, the routine. Do you also not take into the into account that the person you're with, right? If they're allowing you to come into their life and they've already got their family there or their child there, do you not think that that's scary for them? Because oh, how you got it is is their world is about now about, about to change. They're allowing mm-hmm. someone to come into their life and disrupt mm-hmm. their routine mm-hmm. that could possibly leave. And my mm-hmm. thing is, is if I'm a mum and I'm introducing my child mm-hmm. to, I don't have no kids. If, but if when I become a mum and and say things don't work out mm-hmm. and I, I then have to make the choice to introduce my child to another man. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't want, I, what I don't want is for my child's heart to get broken. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause kids, they're so innocent and they're so loving. They fall in love with people easily. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if they're so used to having that one person around and then one day they wake up and that person's gone, mm-hmm. imagine the, the, how much that That's breaks a child. Yeah. So, so then the parents gonna... then think, right. am I ready for the you to come in my life? Are you serious enough right. about us? Right. So before we got anywhere, when we were just talking, there were a number of questions, not that whole, Oh, the serious questions beforehand, but you're saying you're serious and you've approached, you're courting me, you've come to me and you're trying to pursue. Let me know how serious you are because you've got a child and I identify you have a child. Do you have availability in your life? Mm-hmm. You work night shift 12 hours, four days a week. You, mm-hmm. you hold no, down your house. It's not house. even just physical. It's, not, it's, not, it's, it's not emotional just, availability. Yeah, it's all of it. I, 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 I want to, I wanted to, put, I think there was some interesting points and I think there was a point you said about like a lot of people our age, um, obviously have children and stuff in it but i think where m- men to a degree can be lucky is because obviously naturally women go for all the guys guys go for all the girls so mm-hmm. there are that like, the young girls but i wanted to ask you mm-hmm. how would you feel about being with like oh is there a difference between being with another guy who's got a child and someone who's seen yeah i find that it's really stressful to with be with a, a man child. that doesn't have children, well, doesn't have children. Mm-hmm. because there is a lot of pressure even if they have siblings even if they've got siblings. Number one, oh when you're introducing someone to your child, you kind of got to know how they flex around children. Mm-hmm. And unless you've witnessed them with nieces and nephews, mm-hmm. you don't know how they're going to be with your child. And some for some people, being paternal, being fatherly isn't natural. Yeah. And my daughter's five. So you kind of got to come ready. You've got to know mm-hmm. what five-year-old. She's got her tantrums. She's mm-hmm. got her moments. And, got her the awk- and, she'll, yeah, and she'll pick up your awkwardness already. Yeah. 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 So that's not going to flex. And also the pressure of having another child. Mm-hmm. So I'm 38. Mm-hmm. So... By the time me and you get into that place that we're looking at having children, I'm nearly 40. Mm. So what if I can't have children mm. and you don't have any? Yeah. Mm. So I feel now pressured that you're going to want this youth from yeah, me. Yeah, that's 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 but he's not going to want a doctor. He's going to want, want his child. He's going to yeah. want his child. So would you, so, do you know at the beginning, child. like I was saying, communicating, when you're getting into something, if you know your intentions is to pursue someone for the foreseeable, or your potentials is, let's go with the flow, or your potential is, your intentions is, I'm going to just ride a bit. If you know you're pursuing something foreseeable, would you not make that known from the get I do. And that's and that's an issue that, that's why but I said no, but I'm on dating websites. Yourself. I'm on dating websites, and don't get it twisted. A man has put on, on a dating website mm. that I'm on, have that's children, good. want no more. Mm. I still swipe right, you know. Or have children, want more. I want more. But why did I even swipe when he says he don't want no more? Mm. Sometimes we choose what we want to really see and what, what we don't want to see. And I'm thinking, you think my thing is turn up in it because you're like, I'm going to change you. Yeah. Like, see, that's, well, that's, that's a whole other problem in itself. That's a whole other issue in itself. You're going to see, you're gonna see, you're gonna see <laughs> my daughter. You're going to see my daughter and you're going to want one. Yeah. So. Yeah, but see, and but. You're you thinking that way because that way. you've yeah, got a child. Yeah. What happens if he doesn't even have a child? Like, that's almost forcing him to think that way. And it's like, I don't have to think that way. Well, to be Does fair, that make me a bad guy? Where I am now, Maybe. I may have a child by force. I may have that second child. Just to make them out. Just, yeah. I, no, it's just to, to, to keep, to, to, to kind of add the final missing piece. For me? Yeah. Because yeah. I'm on selfish season right now. And yeah. you may be my You're victim. <laughs> Energy. 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 Energy.
Hey, Alvin, watch out, boy. Watch out, watch out, out boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. Because there's no guarantees that he's going to stick around anyway. Mm. So right now, I'm all right because I was married with my with my you child's dad so I'm like if you weren't even around then there's no guarantee so I might as well just have a you with somebody you innit? you might as well mm. but then you know you're right. setting that situation back up again <laughs> of um having the family home but I'm alright with that I set up the family no but hold on wait so do you now understand with what you just said mm. why guys find it skeppy about going with chicks <laughs> He's giving us a female kind of but, think about but, it. Back on my mind, it's but, like I start thinking about girls that I might be dating that have a you and what their mind frames. Like, yeah, well, but, but it's like, hold on, wait a minute, wait, wait. I got, I got time on the clock still. I'm not, yeah. Hold on, wait. I'm but not, I feel I'm like not using it. That's, it's there. that's yeah. the beautiful thing. It's almost like devil's advocate. That's the, she's giving us a female perspective and like bringing that time that men have. Like, yo, listen, what are we doing here? Kind of. Yeah. Thing. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Yeah. That's pressure on my time clock. Sometimes we need pressure, man. Then you need to step. Out. Yeah, sometimes we need pressure, and way. that's why they got seedings. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yeah, a lot of yeah. when you think about when we're dating, yeah, that whole go with the flow, I'm chilled or whatever. More time, we agree with it because that's what males want. Mm. They don't like mm. pressure. Mm. A lot of the time, mm. guys don't like that. pressure. And walking into a relationship with a woman that's got a child, that's pressure. But pressure makes diamonds and trapdoors. No, I know, but man, oh. what is that? It depends. It depends. It depends. It pressure also bursts back. <laughs> Yeah. 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 I'm saying So you gotta know the man that you're yeah. 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 You're applying the pressure to You gotta know the man you're applying the pressure to I was saying to you before A lot of the time when we meet people No one is real enough to say how they feel All the time straight away yeah We right. always lie We always kind of ed- Excuses we, we, we edit out our answers to suit that person Mm. So basically, we're basically kind of telling people what they want to hear. Yeah. When my thing is, is this, done. and do maybe it's intimidating for a lot of guys, which is why I'm still single See? because I'm so real mm-hmm. with my answers that scares them. Yeah. So let me give you another realness. Like I've actually come to the point that I don't know if I could date a man of African heritage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. and that's because their mums are too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna okay, lie. So that's a, that's a common thing in Caribbean women. I'm not on it. No, your no, mums are African. too much, and their mums want me to control. <laughs> Let me tell you why. We don't have those pressures. We don't have those pressures. In in a Caribbean in the Caribbean culture, there aren't any pressures. Mm. Because more time when you look at a Caribbean family, it's very rare to find one that's got a set of parents in it. Do you understand me? So when you look at African families, they're very, very, very much about family. Yeah, I can agree with that. Us as women, we're, we're, we're raised as by strong black women that are usually single parents. Mm. Yeah. So we get taught a lot more independence. And that's yeah. no just because I know a lot of African girls that are independent. Yeah, but right. our independence is different. Mm. We're built different. different. So when we grow up and we come to a man and we can like a man from an African background or, or a white background or whatever, we have certain expectations. But at the same time, when it... when when we when we're also feeling pressures from the mother, it's too much. It's too much. Yeah. Jamie, your mum. Yes. Up? Where were you from? Sierra Leone. Right. Woo! Where are you going to be dating? Oh yeah. I like you. Just saying. Okay. So what's your mum like in relationships? And I want to then go to you. Fam, she's calm. Sian's met my mum. She's calm. Do you know what it is? It. I feel like. Is it because she's not Nigerian? Do you know I'm not even gonna I've got I've got I have got i have got i have got some I've got some beautiful Nigerian aunties. I'm not gonna throw them under the bus. I've got some beautiful Nigerian aunties, I'm not gonna throw them under the bus. But do you know what it is? That it, it, people are people in it. Different it depends in it, that kind of thing. I don't like to generalise stuff in it, do you know what I'm trying to say? But yeah, to answer that so question. She's calm. Yeah, she's, so she's if you met a woman and she's got two kids. Yeah. Bringing her to Mumsy, what's she saying? You see, she's calm, but she's real. You see, like, <laughs> right now, do you know why? Because I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. Because it's one of them ones, yeah? My mum's one of them ones. She always, like, she's going to... Your Mumsy, they look out for the best interest of the, the, the... You get me? So her thing is, you haven't got kids. You get me? She's going to be like, you haven't got kids. Um... Da, da, da. Like she knows like responsibilities in it kind of thing. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And her thing is just like, bro, like she's looking out for me. So she's not gonna be, she's not gonna be like over the moon, right? But then her thing is, she's gonna re- rap with me and be like, okay, cool. How is this person? Da, 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 da. You know what I'm trying to say, kind of thing. So, so but mom, um, so yeah, I'm Nigerian, <laughs> but evidently there's an agenda here. Y'all. I'm just saying. <clears throat> but I think my mom is very, very calm. I feel like people that have met my mom know like she's calm. Like um, my brother's partner, she's 
She's not black. So do you get it? So it's like... Mm. But I think but being non-black can't. versus having two kids is a different level. <laughs> okay, in, term, in, terms of two ki- in terms of two kids, in terms of two kids, I think, yeah, it's definitely the same as um as, as what Deanie said. My mum, she would probably be like, raw, like, are you sure this is... We should be like, raw, like, like, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, don't tell me about that. Mum's got the accident. No, 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 all her mum's got the accident. Some of her mum's got very well Queen's English. Queen's English. Queen's English. My mum's on the phone like, hello? You know what I'm saying? But... Hello. Like, 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 um, my mum would definitely, she'd definitely, she'd definitely be like, you know, like... <laughs> Um, and she'll make me realize she'll probably bring up other things that I might not think about. She might be like, alright, cool, financially ready. Cause yeah. you know, you know and, yeah. and because of the way my setup is, like, I, I you know, I'm, I'm blessed to have both my mum and my dad still together. I'm still in the house with my siblings. So it's like, it's definitely gonna have to be a family setup. So my mum's gonna be like, alright, cool, that means, you know, you're take, you're, you're taking on the, you're gonna take on these two children mm-hmm. as the stepdads. So are you, you gonna, gonna be financially, financially responsible for the two children? I guess I would have to say, like, 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 you'd have to say, yeah, like, I'm not buying you that much. You know what I'm saying? Two, 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 and they've got brothers or sisters that aren't even my godchildren, and I'll feel deep going there with presents from my godchildren. Not them. Yeah. yeah. That's so, rude. Okay, so when you've got a woman and she's got two kids, and you're with her, do you feel financially responsible for those children? Yeah. Possibly. Just based on what I just said there, yeah. like, I feel like I would, because like, I, I feel, I don't know if it's just me, I feel bad giving you kids. No, you're right. In front of other kids. Yeah, you're right. right. Like, so, and like, even naturally, yeah, because you're yeah. trying to impress... <laughs> Because you're trying to press the woman that you're with, because obviously, you know, yeah, it's, it, it, comes with part part. it comes with a part. Yeah, it comes with a part. Exactly. To impress you, you're taking on a woman with a kid. You need to take on that whole that as a that whole. whole thing. There's it. no ifs and buts and whens and oh, but that child's not yeah, mine. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it. And if it's a but that child's it's not mine, and you're with him, yeah, you still yourself. gotta do it. You, and if you feel that way, don't be with that person. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Look at yourself in the mirror. Right. Okay, okay, so let's let's go back to dating, right? What in your? Because I think there's a real misunderstanding about dating and going on dates. Mm. What is third base? What? Oh wow! <laughs> I think that's third like, base commitment. Third base, third base is like um yes. no no no, and no. That no it's, it's, it's just before yeah it's exclusive I'll say I'll say I'll say it's exclusive no okay, exclusive no, no commitment commitment for me is boyfriend and girlfriend right, people get interested can, can we work backwards can we work backwards is a kiss right. Oh, no, 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 I don't have to kiss you first. <laughs> I love that. Oh, oh. It's getting to know the person. Yeah, Second base. Hello. Physical. Yeah. It's the physical side of things. Third base is commitment. I thought we get Wait, to first have base. to get physical. Yeah, first base is physical. Oh, physical, physical, physical is kissing. Physical, physical, physical. Oh, okay. touch yeah. Physical is touching. Physical is touch. Uh, Isn't that that like second? Second. Right. Right. No, you are making it lip like you're literally, you're, you're looking at it wrong. Yeah, first I don't base know. is getting to know someone. Yeah. That's too Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Going on dates or whatever. To me, second base is anything physical. Kissing, touching. Yeah, interaction. See, I thought you'd be talking. Talking before you get to basis, so that's why I was confused. Oh, that's so that's hello. the first base. <laughs> that's first base. When you meet right, someone, that's cool. the first thing you're going to do is get to know yeah, them. Yeah, Second yeah. base, physical. I want to have sex. I want to kiss you. I want to touch you. Do you okay. Hold on, wait. Kiss and sex are kind of... But it's hard to be in the same same role. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So that's my third base. Okay. So drastic. So third base is, co- <laughs> is this commitment. So now you could be linking someone and be linking someone else and be linking someone When you're dating. So No, wait. So wait, hold on. You're telling me that on second base, yeah... Second base is what you're telling me that you might be sleeping physical with more than one person. You can no. be. No, I'm saying that. You can be. You can be. Okay, can I just ask another question? People that go out there and they date other people. Let's be specific. No, I feel like that. if that's happening, that should be discussed. I'm just only now. Do you know what it is? I'm so the older I've gotten, yeah, the more I've realised, yeah, like see, like sex and that, yeah. Is it, but I can't be, I can't be getting to second base with a girl, yeah, and then I'm gonna go down the road and, cause my thing is, I always, you see, like, I always put things on the other foot, like, if she's doing it to me, how would I feel, kind of thing? But you then you only saying? take third base with the person that you want to go no, to. No, I'm still talking about second base. I'm talking yeah, about, like, you being second base. Second that's what I'm saying, you know what I'm trying to say? Base, what then? Base, yeah, third base, base could be all of that together. When you get to know someone, you know straight away if you want to see that person again. Don't you think it all gets complicated? What about the three month rule? What yeah. about three months you meet a girl and I'm only asking the men, 
So it's Steve Harvey. If you are in like three months, months, are you waiting? That that ain't ever applied to marriage. Waiting three months. Are you waiting to do what? What's wrong with intermarriage? Only the men. Only the men. Three months to be intimate. Are you waiting? Yes or no? I only want to hear yes or no. No. Three months. Are you waiting to be intimate? Yes or no? Yeah. Three months are you waiting to be intimate? If I really, really like her, yeah. Right. As a woman, only the women now. If a man says to you he wants to wait to get to know you before he's intimate, are you waiting three months? Yep. Are you waiting three months? I love that. What happens at three months? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing happens at three months. Maybe the person might have been in a situation. Remember when you meet somebody, you're in two different areas of life what do you mean nothing so, happens at three months what do you mean by that so do you know the thing happens. I don't know nothing's what different from months yeah. so I don't I think if you could if you sleep with a man on the do first night it doesn't wait, mean wait, that you're going to be respected more like than waiting three months I think it depends I think it depends differently wait so wait if you meet someone right and you want to pursue and in three months you don't do nothing I'm going to start thinking that alright maybe the same really interest however if you're talking to someone and within three months you ain't really done nothing but you haven't been pursuing and then three months later yeah I'm willing to take up from the three months but if I pursued something if I've met something like three months ago and all now we ain't kissed we ain't linked we ain't done nothing intimate mm-hmm. I'm gonna start thinking right, so maybe she, she's not really so what if she, okay so let's not let's not, let's see she tells you so you move mm-hmm. to where you're interested she says yo but by the way I I'm, I'm like I can't do nothing intimate until it's like I've known you for three months it depends on our bond. Really? Yeah, if she tells me, it depends on our bond and so that means like, you friendship. Could, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so I could. Wait. But I was more looking at it, if I'm pursuing something, and all three months now, I still ain't got nowhere, a little something. <laughs> a, a little hug, a little sweet, a little, yeah, a little, yeah, little yeah, I'm saying, a little just, I'm, I'm, see, I'm, I'm seeing next week, you know what I'm saying? Do you know what, yeah? But if you break it down. I think it's nice, you know, because I think, if I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep it a buck in it. Mm. I think sex blurs a lot of lines. It does, it does, it does. It does a lot of people. So I say, sex after marriage, guys, trust me, bro. And this is one. Anyway, as you can see, why? Sorry, can I just go for it? This is why when you when you're on, when you're at the first base, you need to communicate everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Communication is important. I think, important. We, I think we've realised that communication, communication is the key. It's everything. Yeah. It's everything. To Guys, me. as you, you can see, from the get go, as you can see, there's so many views. I think we have to do a part two because there's nothing to talk. I've got so many more questions that people have entered. So you look up for a part two. Yeah. Hundred, yeah, right. yeah. Cool. So happy Valentine's Day to all those that are out there, all those losers that's by yourselves. Find yourself a side man, a side piece. No, no, find yourself a toy. Find yourself a toy. Find yourself a toy. Find yourself a toy. And it doesn't break your heart. No. <laughs> 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 <laughs>